Hey world, I'm Josh. I'm Lauren. And we got something new to add to our review repertoire, coffee, today. Um, we're going to try to start doing coffee more regularly as well. We're not together in the mornings all that often, but try and do it on Saturday mornings. Anyway, first coffee we're ever going to review is from Blue Bottle Coffee. That's at bluebottlecoffee.com. They sent a free sample. You can get one there too. Uh, as part of their subscription service to see if you want it. This is from their uh, single origin and it was roasted on April 7th, 2015 and what's today? The 11th? 12th? I think so. Yeah, it's the 11th today. Saturday, April 11th. And this is the, I'm going to butcher this, the Rwanda Nyanza Awaku. Something like that. Uh, let's see if I can get out of the way. Maybe it'll focus. Maybe it'll focus. Never does. Anyway, let's see. Why don't you smell this while I read this? Details. Awaku, which means our place, is run by a gentleman named Uwize, who formerly managed coffee washing station r stations for Rwanda's Ministry of Defense. During the growing season, he manages nearly 2,000 farmers. Uize and his team are very committed to sustainability. Their machine uses pressure instead of water to depulp cherries. And they're, they say, digression. Digression. If you've ever enjoyed a slice of Italian panettone, the sweetbread is the sweetbread studded with raisins and citrus zest, a cup of coffee will certainly remind you of that dessert, a cup of this coffee. It's bright and delicate floral and fruited notes. Uh, panettone is usually a Christmas time treat, but now you can enjoy these flavors long after winter ends. Well, deliciousness. Red currant, lemon, and nectarine. What do you think of the smell? I actually, despite my busted sniffer, got both bright and sweet when I was smelling it. It's great. I'm really looking forward to trying it. <clears throat> There's sort of a. It's not like coffee a lot. Yeah. There's sort of a sourness in there too, almost. I don't. Hmm. Not in a bad way, just sort of. It's hard to describe. It's not a flavor I'm super familiar with. So, anyway. You've got the doggy nose, not me. <laughs> I like, I am, I'm a, maybe that's what panettone, I've never had that bread before. Maybe that is what it smells like. But anyway, we're going to brew this, Chemex, uh, 42 grams of coffee to 70, or 700 grams of water. They send two ounces, 57 grams, so we'll have to do a smaller batch later, maybe in a different method, but you won't see that. Anyway, we're going to stop, brew this coffee, and come back and taste it. Okay, we're back. We've brewed this coffee. Uh, enough for two cups. And it's really frustrating to put my nose... To, I can smell something familiar and I can't tell you what it is. It's really quite frustrating. It's grassy, earthy, cheesy. I don't know. I don't know if any of those are right. It could just be the acidity of those citrusy smells they talked about in the description, but I'm going to taste it now. And what do you think? It tastes kind of how it smells. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty acidic. It's different, that's for sure. It's not what I would call a tasty cup of coffee. But I'm not off put by it yeah, either. Yeah, I don't, I don't dislike it. It's just not, it's just more acidic and yet still lighter. The description sounded mm -hmm. like something I was going to love because I really like those citrusy. Yeah, I thought it was going to be very coffees. sweet. It wasn't really. But I don't hate this. It's just diff I've never had anything like it before. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but yeah, I definitely don't hate it. It weirdly seems like a coffee that I would want with cheese. I don't know why. 
I just feel like it would complement a plate of cheese. Yeah, this wouldn't be a dessert coffee. It's got some bitter no bitterness at the end. So if you needed bitterness for some reason, if you I don't know that people pair coffee with anything. <laughs> but like a cheese danish, this makes me want a cheese danish. Hmm. I think a cheese danish would go really <laughs> well with this. Or a cheesy bagel or something. A nice cream cheese bagel, we'll Asiago cheese. Cheese danish from... I'm getting fat again, I'm gonna knock it off. Oh shush. So... It's pleasant in a weird way. It somehow managed to find a way to make an off-putting taste somehow pleasant. So I wouldn't say I'd buy it again. But I wouldn't turn it away either. Not that I'd turn away any coffee. Yeah, I think because I'll drink whatever coffee I have, I'm not gonna just say I'm not gonna drink it. But it's definitely not my type of thing, and it's not a kind of coffee that I would seek out. But it's so interesting, I'm glad they sell it. Mm -hmm. Like, I think there's people out there who will like this sort of... Very bright. Musty, yet pleasant sort of drink. So, on my own personal scale, out of 1 to 10, it'd probably be, like, a, I mean, you gotta reserve, like, 1s and 2s and 3s for, like, store-bought, pre-ground canned stuff yeah. for the most part. But this is probably, like, a 5. I can tell that there's care and quality put into it, but yeah. it's just not a flavor that I'm in love with. Yeah, I'd, I'd give it a 4.5. It's just not my thing. But thank you very much to Blue Bottle Coffee yep. for giving this. I might, I might stick out this subscription just to for, try a different instead one instead of cancel them and just take advantage of their two ounces of coffee, just to run through a few more. But it is not cheap coffee, so I might cheap out. I'm not sure. Found out a place locally I can get Stumptown, and I'm thinking about trying that. And we're gonna review this local company, Deeper Roots, that we both. I have really enjoyed their coffee so far. Yeah. So, we're running long, and I think it's a good first coffee review. Mm hmm. We'll start doing more of these too. Um, probably release these uh, as extra videos to start out with instead of my regular Monday releases. Cool. Sound good? Yep. Alright, so this will be bonus content for a while. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. Bye bye.